Hey, how are you folks? Jason Harwood, CBSSports.com writer Larry Dobrow. Glad to be with you. Second to last edition of Power Rankings here for baseball with two weeks to go in the regular season. And Larry, all those division races we never thought we'd see the last four or five weeks, we actually have one. The AL Central, and it's because the Tigers are falling apart and the Twins are playing better down the stretch, but even they aren't a great team. So when you come to take a look at Power Rankings this week, mm -hmm. Who's higher, the Tigers or the Twins? Well, the Tigers are higher, but not by much. Um, right now, you know, I mean, I, I guess really we should be thanking these two teams. All of a sudden, we have a pennant race that we didn't quite expect at a time when what we think we were doing. Last week of the season was going to be tending to our fantasy football teams, you know, talking about college football, everything else. You know, Tigers and Twins, it's kind of interesting right now. The Tigers have fallen apart offensively. Curtis Granderson and Brandon Inge both look like they look confused at the plate. I don't think you can play Curtis Granderson against lefty pitchers at this point. Then you have the Twins, where their lineup is not what it was, with Justin Morneau having been shut down for the season. I mean, it's fascinating. It's the worst kind of war of attrition that you can have. It's fascinating, but not in a good way. Because, no. of the because this wouldn't be a good race had the Tigers been playing good baseball. They're not, you can almost say they're not a good baseball team. There are a lot of teams playing better baseball that have no shot at the playoffs right now. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you can look at it right now. I mean, I'm just off the top of my head, the Braves are playing pretty well right now. Tampa Bay had their terrible streak a week and a half ago, but they're playing good baseball right now. Can make an argument that the Tigers might be the 12th or 13th best team in baseball, and hey, they're still going to be there in October. All right, let's take a look at your top five in terms of power rankings this week, and the Yankees still a number one. The Red Sox, it's, it's pretty much similar to what it was last week with the Yankees, Red Sox, and Angels, one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. I think the most interesting battle here is, yes, the Yankees are, are going to have home field uh, throughout the, the AL is what it looks like because, you know, you've got two weeks to go in the season, but home field uh, the rest of the way and home field in the NL is certainly still up for grabs. Absolutely. Um, I think home field matters this year for the first time in a while. You look at the Yankees and Angels, they're both pretty good teams on the road, and you look at the Red Sox, they're a 500 team on the road. If they haven't been beating the hell out of Baltimore all season, they might be below 500 on the road. In the National League, you've got three teams that I think are extremely evenly bunched. The Dodgers, they have some health concerns in their rotation right now, and poor Chad Billings looks like he's like a helpless baby kitten on the mound at this point. Um, the Cardinals, depth in the rotation is pretty good, but you know, do you really trust that bullpen? Not entirely. And the Phillies, well, Cliff Lee finally woke up again. <laughs> You know, that you talk about how they're so vulnerable to lefties, but really their OPS against lefties is just about the same as it is against righties overall as a team. You know, these are three pretty evenly matched teams. And Philadelphia is sixth on this week's they, power ranking. Yes. How far away are they, you know, in a series against the Cardinals, in a series against the Dodgers? Are they right there with those teams? Obviously in power rankings, they're one step behind. But in your eyes, are they just as good as those two National League teams? I mean, really, you know, flip a coin. I know that's probably not the greatest answer to give for something like this. But truth is, each of those teams have appreciable strengths. I mean, the Phillies have the two great lefties in the rotation. The Dodgers, I think, have the best lineup, you know, one through eight. Um, the Cardinals, they have the best player in baseball, they've got the smartest manager, and they've got the big three starters with Pinero, Rainwright, and Carpenter. These are very evenly matched teams, and hey, let's not take anything away from the Rockies. They're, yeah. they're the best defensively out of those teams, and you know they have this kind of magical Rocktober taint to them that everybody seems to uh, ascribe wonderful things to. And here on September 22nd, they have a four-game lead over mm -hmm. the Giants uh, in, in the wild card race. Real quickly, one through three is the American League, four through six is the National League. How far are those three teams in the National League from those three teams in the American League? I mean, it's the usual caveat of anybody can win a short series. Um, I think the teams in the American League are appreciably better. Um, you know, even down to the Royals, even down to <laughs> the, the dregs of the American League. You're, going, you're digging far now. Yeah, you know, we're getting out the old, uh, you know, shovel and uh, jackhammer and everything else. But, you know, the dreg teams in the American League have a little something going for them. Zach Reinke should win the Cy Young. He probably will win the Cy Young, but you never know if somebody might say, hmm, CC Tabathia has 18 wins. Let's give it to him instead. You know, on the National League, you know, the Pirates, the Nationals, I mean, these are some hopeless teams, and frankly, that's what a lot of the National League contenders have been fatting, fattening up on. The Dodgers playing a tough division, it's not that tough. Right. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, you can make an argument based on records and everything else that the AL West has been the league's toughest uh, division this year. Zach Greinke will have a, a say in the rest of Power Rankings. Yes, he will. Because he plays the Red Sox <laughs> here on Tuesday. Uh, the, the Red Sox this week, and he also plays the Twins, two, and he will also get a start against the Twins two more times yep. uh, this season, so he'll have a chance to make that case to, to finish off the Cy Young this year. Mm -hmm. Larry Dobra, I'm Jason Horowitz. Mm -hmm. Check out an entire list of power rankings here on CBSSports.com. Take care, folks.